okay guys to continue with our class uh, about uh, with um, our class of uh, math we are going to uh, review okay or we're going to watch a new video uh, okay to explain a little a little bit more about what is division with patterns using decimals okay uh, I don't know if I have it yes I have it no no I know I don't have it. Um, let's see what is it, what is it, what is it, what is it? It's not this one, it's this one. Okay, I will continue to show in a screen, okay? This is a short video, it's no shorter, it's shorter. So, uh, please pay attention, always take notes. This is only for review the topic, okay? This is only for review topic about what are you going to do. Okay, um, we have to watch the video. Okay, Patterns with decimals, and don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Let me go to that real quick. Here's, here's MrMathBlog.com. When you go to that, uh, let's see, let me slide this over just a little bit right here. So this is fifth grade, you guys. So across here are all the classes that I've taught you guys. So fifth grade is uh, I'm currently loading that right now. So it's way over to the right. In fact, let me let me get that a little bit bigger right there and move, move that out of the way. Anyway. So if you click fifth grade right there, it'll take you to all the lessons right here. So I'm, I'm going to load this one right down here. This is chapter five. So it's going to go right underneath chapter four right there. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started. And if you guys get a chance, would you guys uh, uh, click like on these if they're helping you? If they're not helping you, click on like or you know, leave a comment and get lots of comments too. Yeah, but, uh, please subscribe. All right, let's get started here. So here for our teachers, our common core strand, and our essential questions. How can patterns use us to help um, help place the decimal uh, point when we're dividing? We're we'll looking at quotient right there. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Uh, at Dawes Diner, they used 560 cups of mixed vegetables to make 1,000 quarts of beef barley soup. Each quart of soup contains the same amount of vegetables. So how many cups of vegetables are there in a quart of soup? Okay, so we're going to um, uh, let's underline the sentence that tells us what we're, what we're trying to find. Okay, we're trying to find how many cups of vegetables are there in each quart mm -hmm. of soup. So circle of numbers we're going to use, we're going to use that 560 and 1,000, and we're going to divide these two numbers here. So we can use powers of 10 to help us uh, find our quotient. Our quotient is our answer in our division problem. So dividing by a power of 10, it's the same as multiplying by uh, 0.1 or 0.01 or 0 0.001. Uh, remember, this is one tenth right here. It ends in the tenth spot. Here's tenths, here's hundreds. This is one one hundredths. Here's tenths, hundreds, thousands. This is one one thousandths. Okay, so we're going to be uh, multiplying by one one thousandths, which is the same as dividing by a thousand. So here we are. We're going to divide 560 divided by 1,000. Okay. Let's see if we can see a pattern in the products and the quotients right here. Okay, so 560 times 1 is 560. Everybody knows that. And same with 560 divided by 1 is 560. Anything uh, multiplied or divided by 1 is that number right here. All right, so 560 times 0.1. Remember this uh, from the last chapter. Just move that decimal over one place, so it becomes 56.0. Okay, well, we'll get the same thing when we divide by 10. When we divide by 10, that just moves the decimal over one place also. It's 56.0. Okay, so multiplying by uh, 0 0.1 is the same as dividing by 10. Just moves it over one place. When we multiply by 0 0.01, which is 1 one hundredth right here, uh, it moves it over two places. One, two. In fact, it moves it over how many zeros we see right here, okay? All right. Uh, I'm sorry, how many decimals it goes over right here? Did I say zero? How many decimals? So, so over here, when we divide by 100, it gets moved over two places. And so if there's two zeros after uh, the one, that's how many places it gets moved over when we're dividing. Okay, what if we divide it by 1,000 or multiply it by 1,000? 1, 
five five one one down. It just says slide that decimal over in three places. So zero point five six zero. And so we'll get the same when we divide by thousand. We just multiply or move that decimal over three places. All right, let's answer the question. So there are excuse me, this many cups. So uh, zero point five six zero, which is the same as zero point five six cups of vegetables in each quart of soup. So this is red right here. 5,600, so there's 5,600 cups of soup. If we wrote it like this, this would be 560,000. So depending on what your teacher wants is right here, either one of these would be okay in my class right there. So as we divide by increasing powers of 10, how does the position of the decimal point change the quotient? Okay, well, let's talk about this quotient thing, okay? So this is our dividend. You remember this? Your teacher talked about that. And this is our divisor right here. So our answer was our quotient right here. So so when as we divide by increasing powers of 10, how does the position of the decimal change in the quotient? So our answer, okay, so the decimal moves to the left each time we divide by increasing powers of 10, just like in that last example, okay? All right. Uh, let's try another one. Let's use X on it. So 1,000 is uh, 10 to the third. So let's divide 560 by 10 to the third. Okay, so let's look for patterns right here. Okay, so 560 divided by 0. Okay, remember you guys, uh, the 0 power of 10 equals 1. In fact, anything to the 0 power equals 1. So 10 to the 0 equals 1 right here. So this is the same as 560 divided by 1, which is just 560 right there. Okay, when well we do 560 divided by 10 to the 1, this exponent is telling us how many places will you move that decimal to the left. When we're dividing by powers of 10, and um, uh, this, this power tells us how many places we move. We move to 0 here, here we move at 1 place. When we divide uh, 560 divided by 10 squared, that tells us 2 places, 1, 2. Okay, so what do you think 560 divided by 10 cubed is? It's going to be 3 places. Okay, easy, huh? Alright, so notice that uh, each divisor or power of 10 is 10 times the divisor before it, okay? So 10 to the first is 10 times 10 to the zero. 10 to the second is 10 times 10 to the first. See, this is 100. Remember, 10 times 10 is 100. And that's 10 times this 10 right here. 10 to the third is 10 times 10 squared, okay? So how do the quotients compare? Well, uh, they're 10 times left, which means the decimal is moved to the left. Uh, each time, okay? All right, so let's do a little connection here. Dividing by 10 is the same as multiplying by uh, 1 tenth or point 0.1 or finding 1 tenth of a number right here. All right, so here's another example. Lily used 25.5 pounds of apples to make a large bowl of applesauce. She used 1 tenth as many pounds of sugar as pounds of apples. She used 1 tenth as many pounds of cinnamon sticks as pounds of apples. So how many pounds of each ingredient did Lily use? Okay, well the first one's easy. Uh, we had 25.5 pounds of apples. Okay, so it says here we used one-tenth uh, as many pounds of sugar as apples. So, so what we're going to do is, uh, here's our sugar right here. Here's our cinnamon right here. Okay, now the sugar says uh, we used one-tenth, so we're going to divide this by ten right here. Okay, and then uh, the cinnamon stick says we use one one hundred, so we're going to divide that by one one hundred. All right, let's work on the on the on the sugar over here. Okay, so twenty five divided by one is twenty five, and so twenty five divided by ten, we're just going to move that decimal one place to the left, so two point five five. Okay, let's go over here and think of uh, the cinnamon sticks. Okay, these are all twenty five point five. Okay, so we're going to take uh, divide it by one by ten by hundred. Because cinnamon sticks are one one hundred. Okay, so let's put the twenty five point five in there. Twenty five point five divided by one, easy. Twenty five point five divided by ten. We did that over there, so that's uh, two point five five. All right, twenty five point five divided by hundred. There's two zeros here, so we're going to move this decimal two places. One two. So don't forget, we always start it with a zero. So zero point uh, two five five. Okay, and then let's answer the question here. So Lily used uh, twenty five point five pounds of apples. Uh, she used um, 2.55 pounds of sugar, and she used uh, uh, 0.255 pounds of cinnamon sticks right there, okay? Hey, don't forget, uh, if you can, click like and subscribe. Take care, everybody.
Okay, people, to continue working today with a topic, let's go to the page number 303 on your book. 303 of your book. You have to watch something like this. Well, I, this is another thing, right? Uh, yeah, uh, everybody's on the page number 303 on your book. Felix, if I quit that fund, I would look, but I don't see. Okay, Felix. Okay. Start to work on the page number 303, okay? Uh, I have to make this question. Everybody understand what do you have to do with this topic? Show me your fingers, thumbs up. Nice, so start to work. If we have time to finish, show me your exercises on the screen. Just put the book on the screen, just do this. Okay, and show me into the screen, okay? Yes, but it's start to work, start to work. When you finish those exercises, yes, in the page number 303, start to work on those exercises. And when you finish, show me to the screen, you already finished those exercises. Come on. Yes, Dana. If you have any question to make me, do it. Do it. I will uh, come on, continue working. Continue working, people. If you have any question, write it on the chat. I will see it. Abel. Well, um, don't worry, Kati. Uh, I, 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 remember, I will upload the, 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 the topic on YouTube so you can watch it, okay? Where are you? Catherine. Only the page 303, only that page, no more. Catherine, where are you? Ah. It said Polo Norte Navidad, so whoa, what a name. No, don't worry, I, I will upload the, the, the video, okay? I will upload the video so you can understand the topic, okay? So I will continue. No, 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 no. Okay, I want to see this about Imagine Learning. Okay, you're going to continue working. Okay, Fatima, 
only two lessons complete, 67 minutes. I need to work more. Juan Diego, only three lessons, 113 minutes. Cesar, eight lessons. Jose Manuel, three lessons only. Leda y Jimena didn't enter. Ricardo, only three lessons. Sebastián Guardiola, nine lessons. Felix, eight lessons. Um, Abel didn't enter. No lessons completed. Nico didn't enter. Matute didn't enter. Andrea didn't enter. No lessons complete. Dylan, only two lessons complete. Catherine, don't enter. Yvette, didn't enter. Roland, only two lessons complete. Karim, four lessons complete. Emily, seven lessons complete. Ana Cecilia, five lessons complete. Eric, two lessons complete. Valeria, three lessons complete. Jose Antonio Valenzuela, didn't enter. And Dana, six lessons complete. Okay, let's see, um, Leda, Leda, you say you have problems with, um, to see what uh, your, about your password, you tell me right now. <clears throat> It depends the, the time. And if you didn't finish any lesson, okay, that is the problem. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, Leda. I will be, I will give you your username and your password. Leda, where are you? Where are you? I didn't find you. Ah, copy here, this one. That is your <clears throat> username. <clears throat> Lenriquez with Z and L. You finish the copy? Leda? Okay. Okay, okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Somebody else have a problem? Let's see. Yo lo hago todos los días después de hacer tareas. Sí, pero si no terminan las lecciones y fotos, tienen que terminar lecciones. Se tienen que avanzar más. Necesito la contraseña. La contraseña es one, two, three, four. <coughs> Remember, es que les explico. Lo, lo que acabo de mostrar eh, solo es de una semana, nada más. No es eh, que van a estar viendo 
desde el principio, básicamente. ¿Verdad? Ya les voy a mostrar. Ya les voy a mostrar. Last week, seen there. Last week. This week. Okay. This week, if you see, Fatima, daily use 17 minutes. You have to work in 20. <clears throat> okay. You have to work in 20. Juan Diego Guardiola, 50 minutes. And only have to work 20 minutes. Aha. Uh -huh. But Leda, no. Jimena, no. César, no. O sea, los que no tienen minutos aquí es que no han entrado durante la semana. Miren qué montón. Félix no ha entrado. Abel no ha entrado. Marilyn no ha entrado. Eduardo Matute no ha entrado. Dylan no ha entrado. Y Beth no ha entrado. Emily Valentina no ha entrado. Ana Cecilia no ha entrado. Miren. José Antonio Valenzuela no ha entrado. Ajá. Y hay varios que no hacen los 20 minutos. Yo les dije, hagan 30 minutos diarios a una hora. Para que se puedan nivelar. Pero no me aparece, hija. Y ahí estoy. Aquí estoy. Ve. Ana. Ana. ¿Dónde está Ana? Ana, 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 no le encuentro. Ana, mira, quinto grado, cero minutos, cero, cero, nada, no tiene nada. ¿no? Del 10 de mayo al 14 de mayo ha bajado el rendimiento. Sí, es raro que no le aparezca. Es raro que no le aparezca. Y eso es de esta semana, nada, nada, nada más. 12 actividades por estudiante. Ok. Y solo es esta semana. Solo es esta semana la que les estoy mostrando. Entonces yo tengo a varios que no están entrando. Mira. Leda, Jimena. Félix, Abel, Marilyn, Matute, Dylan, Yvette, Valentina, Ana Cecilia y José Antonio. No están entrando a, 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 a la plataforma. Si fuese un error, y usted me lo está diciendo, o sea, yo tengo que notificarlo para ver qué pasa. Ahora, si usted está haciendo algo mal en la cual entra a sesión, pero no finaliza las lecciones, esa es otra cosa. Es como una H0. ¿Qué es eso? Eso es una hora. Eso significa una hora. Que he trabajado una hora completa. ¿Verdad? Ok, people, let's continue. Let's continue. Espérame, Vito, que estoy en clase. Ok, people, let's continue. Let's see your exercises if you are ready. If you are ready, finish. Ok. Su nombre de usuario, Ana. Este es, mira.
Lo copió, Ana. Lo copió, Ana. A Sevilla M. ¿Listo? Ok. Ok, people, to finish this, show me your exercises finished, already finished, to the screen. I will, uh, I will see you. Ok, good, 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 Roland. Let's see, good, uh, Fatima. Let's see another one. Show me. Close it, close it, Yvette, close it. <laughs> ok, Yvette, close, good, Leda, good. Let's see, José Manuel. Very good. Danita, good, Dana. Good, Juan Diego, Karin, good. Jose Valenzuela, good. Felix, good. Ajá, y the people who doesn't have camera, what happened? For that reason, I want to see you to everybody using that camera. Somebody else, show me. No, pues, obvio que usted no, Catherine, porque entró tarde, pero lo tiene que hacer, va, viendo el video. Valeria, Rodrigo, Eric, good. Eric, good. Matute, excellent. Andrea, show me. You didn't finish. Nico. Ok, still working, working, Karim. Still working, people. Come on, work. Okay, people. Uh, I will see you at one o'clock for the class of Civicam. Okay. So finish your classwork. Finish finish your exercises. I will see you at one o'clock. Si lo escribió mal, hija. Okay. Uh, okay, people, see you at the one o'clock. Bye-bye.